Hey friends, so today for science, we're gonna look a little bit more closely into, what is that? Yeah, a tornado. Ooh, those are so scary. Are you guys scared of tornadoes? Yeah, me too, they're super powerful. I've never been in a tornado. Have you guys ever experienced a tornado before? No, yes? Crazy. All right, let's get to reading. I can't wait to learn about tornadoes. They're so scary, but they're so cool. Whoa. A tornado is a very strong wind. You can see a tornado. It has a lot, it's long and thin, and it spins very fast. It spins around and around and around in a circle, super fast. Whoa, that thing is big. Thunder clouds. Ooh, we learned about thunder clouds. All tornadoes form from thunder clouds, but not all thunder clouds make tornadoes. Huh. So we can have a thunderstorm and a, a thunderstorm cloud could turn into a tornado. But not all of them, right? Just some. Just some just some of them. Air near the ground must be warm and humid. The air above it is, co is cold and dry. When the two meet, the warm air shoots up. This makes a thundercloud. We learned about that last time. Yeah, we learned about those thunderclouds, didn't we? Funnel clouds. Whoa, look at it. Wind blows in the storm. The air inside the cloud spins. The spinning can make a funnel cloud. If it touches the ground, it's called a tornado. So if it doesn't touch, it's not touching down. It's just a funnel cloud. But if it touches all the way down to the ground, then it's a tornado. Oh, that's pretty cool. Touchdown! A tornado's path is usually 100 yards, which is about 91 me meters. No. Yeah, 91 meters long. It usually lasts for about 10 minutes. But it can move farther and last longer. Scientists have a special scale, and it's called an enhanced Fujita oh, EF scale. The EF scale can rate a tornado's strength. So it looks right here. It says the scale. So it's a really small. It's blue. It's getting bigger. Goes to green. Two or a little bit bigger is like a light orange, kind of like a yellow, yellow orange. Then a regular orange is three. It's bigger than it's getting bigger. A red is a number four, and it's bigger, bigger. And the biggest, biggest tornado is a number five, and it's pink. It's on the pink chart. What number do you think this tornado is? Hmm. Why? Why do you think that? All right, great job, good je good guess, I like that. I'm not sure. The weakest tornado is an EF0. Over half of all the tornadoes are EF0s. Some branches may break off trees. Some homes may need a little bit of repair. So it's something like this, kind of like when we get hurricanes and they knock things over, like a, a tornado could do that too. The strongest tornadoes are EF4s and EF5s. Yikes, look at that. These make up about 8% of all tornadoes. Cars fly through the air and homes are destroyed. 
Yikes. That's scary. Tornado safety. Find a safe place in case of a tornado. A basement is the best place. A small closet is the next best spot. Always stay away from the windows. The end. Whoa, tornadoes are pretty powerful. What do you guys think? Yeah, what did you learn? I learned a lot. Yeah, there was funnel clouds. Um, what else? The scale that they use. And it's a cloud that spins. Wow, that's a lot. What was your favorite fact about tornadoes? That's super cool. Well, thanks for joining me, and I can't wait to see you next time.